Welcome to the Echo Cast, a podcast about Division 2, its community, news, speculation, and updates. I am Bon Diesel. I do Division stuff such as this podcast. Supposedly, I stream, and supposedly, I do YouTube videos about Division 2. Today, we're going to have some content updates, state of the game recap, Division 2 new news and stuff, other gaming news, listener questions. And then we're going to wrap it up. I want to thank this month's Patreon supporters, Benny Hassan, Christian, Darren, Justin, Tim, PK, DJ, Jimmy, Tony, and Dale. If you'd like to support this podcast or my other content, please check out patreon.com slash the echo cast. I want to throw out a sincere thank you to really everyone, but especially the Patreon supporters. Um, after I've not streamed in like two weeks and didn't do the podcast, I missed my first week ever in the podcast last week. Um, I kind of expected to look at the Patreons and see people had dropped off and I would have been 1000% okay with it. I understand. Um, and it really um, made me smile to see that everyone was still chilling. So thank you guys and gals very much. I sincerely appreciate it. Uh, we'll start off with some content updates. As I just said, there was no episode last week. Um, <laughs> if uh, Unless you're living under a rock, you'll know that uh, we are currently living in a literal worldwide pandemic. <laughs> um, obviously, this has been going on for a few months. Um, I live in the United States, if you can't tell from my accent and my overall completely undeserved amount of confidence and um and, and stuff has kind of popped off in the united states in the last couple of weeks and um my life has changed a lot um so i've had a lot of stress and anxiety um, i'm not one that talks too much about my personal self obviously i talk about my feelings about division a lot um, but my own personal feelings political feelings all of that stuff I mostly try to keep off of my content, even though that's getting harder and harder to do. But um, basically, I was just really, really stressed and anxious last week. And I have to admit that the very last thing I gave a damn about was Division or video games uh, or this podcast, to be totally frank. Um, There also wasn't really anything big to talk about, unfortunately, and we'll talk a bit about this. but. Um, you know, there's not going to be probably much news from the game for a while. I think that that's um, anything new is probably on hold that wasn't completed before this stuff came out. Um, I have actually started working from home most of the time, only going into the office a little bit. I've also been helping Bay Diesel watch Baby Diesel because um, the people who watch our child are elderly and um, we don't need to be exposing them to anything um, and honestly, it, it just kind of a combination of all of those factors. I just, I just haven't felt like doing it. Um, I've barely been playing the game. If you want me to be totally honest, I've been jumping on when I have time, but that doesn't really exist. So I do apologize for not doing an episode last week. Um, I'm happy to be back. I can't promise I'll do the one next week, but I'll definitely try, especially if there's stuff to talk about. Um, but it's for me, it's kind of about priorities and taking care of myself and not forcing myself to do this uh, not forcing myself to stream even though i would like to start doing that again especially because i kind of do have some time now that things have settled a bit um what, what i'll say is that beyond gaming beyond anything else i hope anyone who's listening to this um, i hope you're taking care of yourself i hope you're getting your news about this stuff from credible sources um, that have your well-being at at heart. I I hope that you're okay. 
I hope that physically you're okay. I hope that mentally you're okay. It's okay if you're not. Reach out to someone. I don't know if I'm in the condition to be that person to reach out to, but I can, uh, if you do, I'll at least try, or I'll try to find someone who can help. Um, you know, this kind of thing that happens helps you reevaluate a bit without getting too, uh, you know, too deep, but it does make you kind of stop and think and, uh, and, and prioritize a bit, uh, which I obviously have for myself. And, and I think it's okay if you are as well. Um, I just want you to know that, you know, it's going to be okay. This is something I keep telling myself. You know, this is a crazy time. I hope that in most ways we're better for it. I hope there's lessons learned. I hope the costs aren't too bad. And by cost, I mean cost in people, uh, money, economies, all of those things figure themselves out. But once someone is gone, it's forever. And so... I just hope you're okay. I'm going to be okay. My family will be fine. And I just hope, um, I, I, I hope, I hope this helps someone and I'll leave it there. Okay. So last week on the day of the game was pretty much the same story as this week. Basically, uh, everyone's working from home at Massive, and I assume most of the other Division Studios, probably Ubisoft Studios in general, and probably basically every gaming studio, I imagine, is probably working from home. Except CD Projekt Red. You know they're slaving those people in the offices for sure. I'm sure they're not. I'm joking. Relax. And Ninja Theory. There's not a chance that they're not working, that they're working at home. Again, kind of kidding. Maybe, I hope. Um, so last week and really this week, we're mostly just talking about bugs that are uh, in the current patch. Um, we'll talk about the division community in the after the mid roll. Um, th they've actually been really clear about laying out all of the things that people are telling them are wrong and uh, both bugs and just opinions. Um, and uh, they they seem to have kind of set a list of priorities. I believe you can find a list of that on the division subreddit if you dare go to that place right now. Um, today specifically, we had Hamish, Yannick, and Chris um, all skyping in, or probably on Discord, I imagine. The first thing they addressed was the DPS exploits that are still going on. Um, they have patched a few of them out, but there's still some left. On my State of the Game recap tweet, or live tweet, this is where I threw in my own personal opinion that um, these, like, crappy little tiny YouTube channels that make up stuff to talk about with Division 2 every day who are trying to make it and are doing it in the worst possible way for the most part with lies and sensationalism and bring it in certain drama that doesn't need to happen. And this is, I'm talking about basically anyone under, I don't know, hundred K subs. It's, it's don't, please don't give these people attention. Don't reward them for this bull crap. Don't reward them for posting exploits. They aren't helping. I didn't believe it when any of the big creators said it before. I don't believe it. Now these people have a hundred venues that they can show these problems and these exploits to the people who need to see it. And if it's legit, they'll fix it. And posting a video about it isn't the right way to do it. And no, I don't give a damn about what happened in Division 1 with the healing box. I just don't. Don't reward bad behavior, especially behavior that is only being done for monetary gain and attention. Moving on. <laughs> they, uh, they went on to talk about if you want to report exploits or bugs in general, use the support website for Ubisoft, use Discord, use the forums, and DM, you know, direct message these guys. If you're going to do it on Discord, make sure it's just about issues, not to tell them that they're ugly, 
or that their voices sound funny. <clears throat> um, but if you DM them on Twitter, you know, they even said, we may not respond to you. But if you send us something that's actionable, we'll take action. They uh, covered a few specific things, um, like the season rank being impacted on some people. Um, they're trying to figure out a way to restore that. Um, the leagues being reset, it sounds like is like sort of on purpose, um, but it should still show something different. Basically, uh, the second week of the league that includes the global event sh should reset, but it should still let you continue your progress from the first week. And the UI right now isn't really showing that. Um, they talked about they talked about title update eight point four being deployed today. Has some bug fixes, hardwired. Uh, gear set is fixed and the first pass of the difficulty balancing as for what comes next they talked about um, more updates uh, are coming in early april uh, more more fixes basically i don't know if there i doubt there's gonna be any new content um other than the new leagues and manhunt targets and things like that that's probably the next few months of this game and that's probably it uh, they're working on uh, more d the existing DPS exploits. Um, and they, they hope that doesn't take until early April. They're hoping to deploy that earlier. Um, the control point reset fix is being worked on, and they'll be deployed as soon as it's ready, but it'll pro that probably won't come until the April patch. Um, the global event daily challenges, um, they stack. That's kind of what I was just talking about. Um, so when you see the day one, two, three, and four of global event challenges for the dailies, those don't go away after their days. They stay. Really, it's just not a very well-designed UI. My guess is they actually did originally intend those to go away after the, the day, but then they probably realized that that would piss a lot of people off. <laughs> so they probably need to fix the UI. Um, and they acknowledge just in general that the UI is kind of confusing. Uh, and it hopefully will be adjusted. Um, there's an apparel event coming on the 31st. They showed off the recon, hazard, chrome, and gorilla uniforms that, or cosmetic items that you can get. Uh, the recon has a hood. It's got like the ghillie sniper hood. That's um, I think it's similar to the outfit hood, but it looks like you can use it as like a regular item with other stuff. They also show the new mask that you can get. It's a uh, it's a green like baseball cap with duct tape on the front, um, contacts, and a pretty beastly looking uh, gas mask. Uh, it looks good. I'm sure I probably won't use it. <laughs> uh, and that was about it. So uh, with the big stuff, I mean, I don't know. I'll rant about the community after the drop or after the mid roll, uh, but. People just need to realize that, uh, you know, this game will never be perfect. It has never been perfect. Uh, no matter what the uh, hindsight goggles people, uh, you know, what they see in Division 1, it was never perfect. Uh, you know, Title Update 7 was not better than Title Update 8. Um, I've been seeing everything I should have expected, but somehow um, I, I always think that each new patch, maybe the community will react differently. And each new patch, I'm proven wrong. And that's fine. Um, I mean, this stuff, it's just kind of what I think is expected. Um, we have the issues we have. They'll fix them as they can. Uh, but that's going to be slow going. They're all working from home. They don't probably have the ability to do everything, especially not as quickly that they could if they were in the office. And there's a good chance this is going to last for another two or three months. So, you know, be a person, realize they're people, and that this is tough on them as well. Um, realize that these issues don't make them happy. There's no one sitting at Massive saying, Haha, screw the players, we're so happy these problems exist. It's not a thing, and people need to stop acting like they're incompetent like they are doing this maliciously um i don't know a lot of stupidity going on right now and people need to one get the priorities straight and two open their ears and shut their mouths a little more 
but that's what I'll say about that. What else I'll say is this 30 second mid roll with a terrible transition. Okay, so division, some division two topics. So the first thing I kind of touched on it already. Um, <clears throat> there's some like kind of small name, you know, big for division, I guess, because there's no one left. <laughs> um, uh, creators who are trying to boost their views um, by making exploit videos. Um, yeah, they're, they'll be the people, and they're, and they're people who like them and enjoy it, the drama and, and cheating will say, no, it's to get attention from the devs. People do it. it they fix it faster. It's not true. Uh, and these people aren't doing it for good reasons. They're, they're doing it because it can get views. It does make me super happy that, um, that a lot of them aren't getting views. Um, people that get like two or 300 views in their videos are getting like a thousand. Big whoop. You're not even going to get partnered with YouTube with those numbers. So good. Screw them. Don't pay attention to the videos. Don't watch them. Don't give them the clicks. If any of them even can get ad revenue, which I'm sure most of them can't. If they do, they get like 10 cents a video. Um, these people are just affiliated with brands, just like anyone can if they fill out a form. So at least, they're, at least I know they're not making any real money off of this. But that's definitely their goal, and I highly, uh, I, I request you don't uh, help them out in that venture because um, it's garbage content. Um, I mean this in the best possible way, but there's just mostly garbage content with Division right now. Crappy build videos, um, exploit videos, boring ass PVP clips. Uh, the PVP is a complete shit show right now because of the DPS glitch. You know, it's just, it's a mess. <laughs> yeah, the, one of the greatest things that, that I will always feel bad about with Division is that um, it never has had any big time consistent creators that weren't the worst enemy of the game in the community. I know people liked Marco. I know people like Wids. For some reason, people like some other creators. I will leave nameless uh, that I'm sure you can guess because they're just children. And then there's a few big creators who every two or three months when there's updates they pop in and pretend to be part of the community and then get mad when they don't get paid to play the game or whatever just garbage content unfortunately you know and even the people who did make decent content for the game ended up being the worst enemy anyways and um it's just kind of a bummer that's going to be one of the big things that in the long run i think held this game back was uh, you know, I, I look at games like like Destiny, who I know can have a salty community, but it still does have a bunch of creators who are high quality and make good content that aren't just PvP based and aren't just based on making sarcastic videos, making fun of everyone because they've got self esteem issues, and you know, you know these other games that I've been involved with, especially like Escape from Tarkov, and I've paid attention to Destiny a little bit. They have these like pillars of their community, people who may get a little salty here and there and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, you know, they, all of those, a lot of these other games have five to 10 pillars to their community of people who are informative, who are balanced, who give actual real information and don't, you know, become part of the problem. Um, they're critical of the game, but not in a way that they're just trying to get attention for it. It's uh, it's something I'm very jealous of as a Division fan. Um, I'm not going to ever be that creator that I wish we had. I think the closest we've ever come to it was Skill Up, and he basically stopped being involved with Division years ago. And uh, and even then, he had his own issues. So um, I, I feel bad for this community. It's a bummer. Um, and now what we have is... A bunch of crappy videos like I talked about before, a bunch of crappy content that's coming out, um, a bunch of these like mid-tier small creators starting drama with each other and bickering and saying stupid crap. And at the end of the day, you know, they think that they're all these like sharks going after each other, but it's just a bunch of minnows nipping at each other's tails. It it doesn't, it, it's it's insignificant. It doesn't matter. 
and it's so so much of a bummer to see um, and these people in their communities are the same ones who are flooding reddit with a bunch of bull crap and negative posts and you know awful things being said about people who are just trying to do their job um you know i've i've always been one to say that criticism is so important for games and communication is so important um but if you look at any you know twitter i mean i've blocked or been blocked by most of the assholes in this community so i guess i don't see much of it but the subreddit is just such a mess right now and and the people over there who mod that do what they can um but there's basically you know just it's rough <laughs> Um, I'm not even saying that, I mean, most of the criticism is deserved for sure. Um, but the way it's done and really just the kind of sheepishness of a lot of the feedback where you can tell it's people who don't really know what they're talking about, but some, you know, YouTube bro said it and now they're parroting it or, you know, they're mad. The game isn't perfect for them specifically. Therefore the game's terrible. And, and here's a 15 paragraph post to why. Um, it's really just a bunch of people circle jerking around an anger fire and uh, getting getting off on it real hard. Uh, I'll make sure I list this episode as uh, <laughs> as explicit. Um, but it's just it's so frustrating to see, especially with all of these other real things happening in the world right now. Um, it's just cringy to even pay attention to this community. I, I made a post a few days ago. I took a few days off and came back and basically just said like, man, this, um, th this community is just kind of a shit show or at least the side of it that gets seen the, 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 the vocal and probably vocal minority is, um, it's hard to watch. It's, it's hard to even try to be a part of. It's just such a shit show. Um, I just, I don't, it's so hard <laughs> to, to continue trying to be a part of this whole thing. And, you know, Massive isn't without blame. They've made tons of their own mistakes. There's a lot of stuff going on that, you know, I think a lot of it's outside of their power. Some of it isn't, or some of it is within their power. And I don't know, maybe it's incompetence. Maybe it's whatever it is. All I know is that these people have always been professional and cool. They've always done their best to try to make things better. They've made my favorite franchise probably ever at this point, despite its problems. And I don't expect a perfect game. No one should because they don't exist. And you can't point to me a single game that has no issues, especially any modern games. Don't tell me Destiny's perfect. Don't tell me any other game's perfect. It's not true. You go into any of these gaming communities now, and everyone involved thinks the games are a shit show. <laughs> it's not just Division, as much as people like to think it is. Um, it, it's kind of just the reality of, of gaming in 2020. Well, now that that rant is over... <laughs> Um, again, just to keep in mind that right now, I believe all of the Ubisoft studios are working from home, um, for division and what that means for upcoming content. I imagine this whole manhunt, um, this whole season is probably done. I can't imagine they were working on, working on it. So I imagine these next three manhunt targets will pop up just fine. <laughs> I imagine the global events are done. The leagues are ready. All of the rewards are there, and um, then the final manhunt will come uh, in what, like two months or whatever, and that will be hunky dory. Where I am curious is the next season, um, the next manhunt, the next everything. I assume they were working on that along with uh, fixing bugs and things. So I um. I'm curious about that. I, I'm also kind of hoping that these seasons, uh, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious these seasons are the content for the rest of the life of this game, right? Um, I'm hoping that there will still be some surprises. Um, I still think we need to, you know, restore the castle settlement. I still think that there's, um, there's new, there's lore and story to be revealed. 
I'm hoping that there's still going to be maybe some new missions here and there. Um, you know, I'm really hoping that I think the manhunts are cool. The seasons are cool. All this stuff is great. Um, but I'm really hoping that it's not the end of the progression of the game. We'll have to see. We are going to come up to a year and a half in the game. Uh, the first game had a three year cycle. And the last two years were mostly just adding little things. And uh, so we'll have to see what that means for Division 2. Okay, I'm going to jump to listener questions. We will save the Xbox and PS5 conversation for the next podcast. This is going to be a short one, and that's just the way it is. Uh, the first question comes from Araishi on Discord. Um, if you were in the division, let's see, if you were in the division universe, you could pick a faction from division one or two to join other than the division agents. What would you join? I would probably pick the Black Tusk. Um, they seem the most organized, the best equipped. They don't seem hungry. So there's that. <laughs> Joe Polidoro says, would you rather see new content continue to be released for division two? or see a six month hiatus from the content teams in favor of one big update at the end and all the fixes of the current bugs. They're never going to fix all the bugs. There's always going to be bugs. Um, that's just the reality of this game. It will be forever. Um, I don't know if it's the team. I don't know if it's the engine. I don't know if it's other stuff. It's probably a little bit of all. And that's just going to be the way it is. So I don't want to see a hiatus. Um, I don't think that would be good for the game. Um, I think they can do two things at once and they should. The final question is from APLB on Twitter. Um, what do you think about a future, uh, future PlayStation five compatibility and improvements, um, PlayStation five and series X. Um, I, I know a series X, at least the game will be playable day one on there. Um, probably with some minor improvements that are um, platform side. Um, I'm hoping that there will be a, a patch from Ubisoft or Massive, um, similar to the Xbox One X patch that improved the graphics and so on and so forth. I'm hoping the Series X will get a patch. Day one would be great, but I'm not expecting it. Um, that essentially, what I would say is, say you're on the PlayStation 4 or Xbox One right now, Say you're playing on like low settings PC, like if you were on a PC, they'd be low settings on those systems. I'm basically hoping that PS5 and Series X get the high quality settings. Maybe not extreme, maybe not the super duper settings, but a significant improvement. Um, FPS is the big one. Um, 60 FPS, whatever that means for the actual graphics, I think should be the absolute goal, if not higher but I'll hope for 60. Okay, so you might hear the baby crying in the background, so I am going to wrap things up. And um, I do appreciate it. Thank you guys for listening. Um, thank you for coming back, even though I missed a week. Um, I'm going to try to record next week. I'm going to try to stream. I can't make any promises. Things are weird right now. Um, please take a moment to rate the podcast on whatever platform you are listening. If you want to support the podcast and my other content, please check out patreon.com slash the echo cast. I am Bond Diesel on Twitch, where I try to stream a few times a week. I'm also at Bond Diesel on Twitter. If you want some cool echo cast or Bond Diesel merch, check out bonddiesel.live slash merch. That's all I have. So until next time. <laughs> I'm going to go to the hospital.